While Create React App is a super useful tool, unfortunately, it adds quite a bit of boilerplate code. And especially while we're covering React fundamentals, I prefer setting up everything from scratch, since that way we can build everything together and in the process discuss the main purpose of some specific file or code snippet. So with that said, our first task is going to be somewhat straightforward. Remove most of the boilerplate. And we're going to do that in the following way. Navigate to your sidebar, remove the entire source folder, then create one from the scratch. Yes, I know this might sound redundant, but this is what we're going to do. And then inside of it, we want to create index.js. I can tell you right away that your application is going to break. Don't worry, we'll fix it in the next video. So let's navigate over here. Notice the source folder, I want to remove it. Yep, the entire folder, it goes to trash, then we want to create a new folder, let's call it source. And inside of the source, let's create that file, our JavaScript entry point. So the index JS. And once we do that, like I said, our application is going to look different. Don't worry, we'll fix it in the next video. And also in this video, I want to mention that throughout the course, I'll toggle the sidebar, just so I have more real estate. And in my case, the shortcut is command B. Now, if you're using different operating system, there's a great possibility that your shortcuts are different. And in order to get the shortcuts for your Visual Studio code, just navigate to this cog, and then look for keyboard shortcuts. So for example, if I mention toggle sidebar, you can go here, and then type toggle, and then sidebar, and somewhere in there, you'll find your shortcut. And the reason why I prefer using such shortcuts is because they save a bunch of time, and in the long run, massively speed up the development.